Hey everybody, welcome back, Devin, the OG, the original Grognard. I think I'm streaming. I've been dealing with this for the last 10, 15 minutes. Let's see, are we actually, it doesn't look like we're streaming. Okay, let me, let me go try something. <clears throat> this may take a bit. Let's go there and click there. Ah! Okay, cool. Got the wrong picture on it, but man, oh well, whatever. I can go back and change that. Later. The OG. Oh, there I am. Feedback on myself. Uh, let's see. Got it. Okay, so this is going. Oh, I need to. I need to actually share this because other than people catching me that I'm streaming live, they're probably not gonna see this unless I post it somewhere. So let me post it where I need to post it. And it's like a half a dozen different channels. Facebook among them, mostly. Let's see. Yes, I know how to operate a browser. Evidently, I don't because I'm clicking the wrong buttons. I never said uh, I was a clever man. Okay, so we got there. Let's go ahead and post that there. Let's see. Professor Preview. Hey, looks like it's working there. Oh my god, I might actually know what I'm doing. Maybe because I'm upstreaming at the same time. Okay, make sure my microphone is near my mouth. Make sure my microphone is turned on. So, all right. So I'll put that there. All right. Let's put that there. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. All right. Let's see, that's good enough. Yeah, I think that's good enough for now. So let's get back into this. What, what, like, what are we doing? Lock and load tactical digital. <gasps> Viper Dave is in the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Christopher Robin is, uh, is <laughs> here as well. Thank you, gentlemen. Hopefully we'll get a few more people in. So what are we looking at? Oh my God, we're looking at lock and load tactical digital. Why are we looking at lock and load tactical digital? It's going to be released in two days. Less than two days, 30 hours, something like that. April 2nd. And I don't know if it's going to be released at midnight, um, Greenwich Mean Time, or if it's going to be launched at 10 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, because it either, Steam usually releases games at midnight or 10 o'clock my time. I don't know what time they're, they're going to be launching it. Um, so it, it's going to be April 2nd. Now, what's going to be released on April 2nd? You're going to get the Lock and Load Tactical Digital, uh, the option to download the Lock and Load Tactical Digital base game, which is going to come with four scenarios. In fact, you know what? Let's go ahead and jump in here and let's take a look at what the starter kit actually. Hey, look at that. So this is basically what you're going to get. You see this little thing over here? I hope my cursor is pointing to over there. Because if not, then you're going to have a real hard time following me. Let me check the channel real quick. Uh, okay. Hey, seven watching. Say hi, people. Don't make me feel like I'm talking to myself. God knows I do that enough as it is. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to get this lock and load tactical starter kit, which is going to be this box right here. Now, this normally is going to be retailing for $4.99, but we're going to be releasing it at half price for like $2.99. So $2.99, what do you get out of it? You get four scenarios, uh, re rejoining the regiment, assault on Veerville, the weapons cache, and a friend in need. Two of them are obviously World War II scenarios. You can tell U.S. versus German. And the weapons cache and friend in need is U.S. versus uh, North Vietnamese. So it's going to be two uh, World War II Normandy scenarios and two Vietnam era scenarios. Yeah, I'm sorry to lose my train of thought with it. What else is there available? As you can kind of look along here. We got a bunch of things that are upcoming. The two things, because of course I'm in, I'm in the beta and you know helping, helping Tom. Uh, work on, on, on getting the scenarios a little bit tighter. What you're going to have the option at right up from the get-go is the Heroes and Nom module, which, are gonna, which is going to be available for $9.99 normally, but it's going to be half off, so it's going to be $4.99 or $5.99, something, something, something cheap like that. And you're going to get, I think, 10 or 12 scenarios, basically all these scenarios here. And you're also going to have Heroes of Normandy. Now, if you notice a little something, I click on Heroes of Normandy, I've got all these buttons under here now. Well, 
each pack, each digital, the each DLC pack is going to have 10 to 12 scenarios in it. Heroes and Nam, it's easy to, to stuck, stick all the scenarios in there because all the scenarios from the base game is only like 10 or 12 scenarios. Heroes of Normandy, however, they've got a lot of scenarios for Heroes of Normandy. So you're going to have four different packs that you can purchase from, but on release, you're only going to have one that you can purchase from. You're going to have one Heroes of Nam, one Heroes of Normandy scenario pack to purchase. Again, they're both going to be $4.99. And so let's go ahead and turn off two, three, and four. So we can just look what's in scenario pack one. And as you can see, these are the scenarios that are in that are in scenario pack one. Take a look at the chat real quick. Lee Harvey, my buddy. I, I, see, you've got such a unique name. I always try to remember that. But for some reason, I, I, I skip. I, I, I don't make the connection. It's my buddy Lee Harvey from my Discord. Uh, he's the one that made my, uh, my Dash Tower. Uh, but as you can also see, we've got some other stuff that we're working on. Here is the Falklands. Now, you're not going to see this yet. This I just have this because I'm a play tester. So we're working on some scenarios from Heroes of Falkland. We're working on some scenarios from Heroes of Pacific. I mean, this is just what we are also kind of working on Heroes of the Red Star 1 and 2. But, you know, we did have a couple scenarios up there. Then Tom took them down, put them back up, put them back down. Anyways. But so basically, every single lock and load tactical module that has been designed plus expansions so like you know bear and jackal for red star and uh, uh hell froze over for heroes of the pacific it's all going to be available eventually i don't know what the release date is going to be uh it, that's all up to tom's ability to get the modules crafted but again the base game is going to be out in two days april 2nd uh, and you're going to have Heroes of the Nam module you can pick up, Heroes of Normandy module you can pick up. So what we're going to do is uh, go back to the channel real quick. See, nobody's talking. Only my buddy's talking. Making me making me uh, a little bit self-conscious. So there have been other people who have been done videos, but I want to do this kind of live just so people can see me play it, ask questions, and hopefully I can keep up with it. Uh, well, let me, you know what? Let me go ahead. I've got my phone here. I can actually... Check on my phone. I should have set this up beforehand. But as everybody knows, I am not a clever man. Uh, David's sending me messages while I'm trying to do this. Sorry, David. I'll have to get back to you. Let's see. Subscriptions. Am I under my own subscriptions? No, I am not under my own subscriptions. That is odd. Let's go to home. It's not working either. Oh, there we go. There I am. The channel. We'll go there. Let's make sure we turn the volume off. All right, there we go. Now I can see the chat as it's coming across in real time. So, anyways, we're going to play a couple scenarios. I don't know which scenarios we're going to play. Actually, I do know. So one, I know one of the scenarios. We're going to start off playing Sky Soldier. I like this scenario. Uh, this, is a, this, is a, this is a cool little scenario. Um, so it's a Vietnamese Vietnam era. Uh, Sky Soldiers. Uh, uh, Again, Vietnamese. It's like trying to pronounce Russian. I hate. I, I apologize. I, I am horrible at linguistics. Uh, play the South Vietnam, November 3rd, 1965. On the morning of November 3rd, 1965, B Troop rifles of the 19 responded to sightings of NVA soldiers southwest of the Play Me Special Forces camp. After landing, the platoon proceeded north and overran the regimental headquarters and hospital of the NVA 33rd Regiment. This sparked off a major intelligence gathering operation, and high ranking U.S. officers landed to investigate the scene. The NVA launched a hasty. Oh, in fact, I missed that. In fact, the only thing not landed at Plathe was the additional U.S. troops. Uh, the NVA launched a hasty diversionary attack to give them the opportunity to extract their battalion that had been isolated by the American attack as quickly as possible. The other troops of the 19 Cavalry were landed in the LZ southwest of the hospital and moved up to reinforce B Troop. Uh, seven turns. Uh, NVA have initiative on turn one, and this is basically a straight-up victory point. Whoever. Uh, Whoever can uh, get the most victory points. Uh, da, 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 victory point compare points for eliminate enemy units and controlling the hospital building in hex 2G2 to H2. NVA can only fire on the hospital with the leader and loses one victory point each time they do so. So yeah, the, 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 the Vietnamese don't want to fire on their own hospital. Uh, scenario special rules. Proximity, U.S. air support. Uh-oh. And gunships. Uh-oh. Cannot target enemy units within two hexes of American ground unit. So... As good as the AI is, and the AI does challenge me a lot, um, being on defense is, I think, unfair 
in most games, so if I'm going to play a computer game to have VA, I'm going to be on the attack because it's it just it provides me more of a challenge. So U.S. is on the defense, so we're going to put the U.S. to computer player. Have we got any? Uh, no, I want everybody to hear my my Discord sounds. Christopher, that'll yeah, that'll yeah, let, let him let him suffer through it. Scenario balance, you can have it as designed, U.S. Army advantage, NVA advantage, strong NVA advantage. So there is a way to alter the scenarios and, and make it harder on you if you want it. Um, now, is the AI actually smarter? No, I think it just affects the dice rolls. And no, There you go. Scenario length as designed, 8 turns, 9 turns, 10 turns, or 6 turns. Let's keep it as designed. Fog of War, I have enough issues playing with it live, so we're just going to go ahead and have, have no Fog of War. So yeah, I think we're good to go. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Loading. Ooh, that's really loud. I thought I set the volume down for that. All right, so what do we got? Uh, Sky Soldiers set up right here. Victory point comparison. The U.S. Army has six points, basically, as they hold both of the uh, hospital hexes. I think they're worth three points each. The NVA is, the NVA is zero. U.S. Army arriving in three turns. Uh, well, let's go ahead and take a look. Yep, this is uh, Heroes of the Non Maps. Definitely. So let's go ahead and zoom in. I love zooming in. I love how clear these counters are. Look at that. Look at how beautiful those counters are. The only thing that does kind of annoy me is I've got this. You see the box kind of in the middle of the screen up above that it looks like it's kind of got what's in the hex. I, I could have swore that box was larger. Tom may have done something or hell, I may have done something that messed it up. Uh, but what are we looking at? Lieutenant Nightingale, we got a hero, we got a 264 Marine squad, we got an M18 uh, Claymore, another 264 squad with an M60. What else do the Americans have? So we're fighting Marines. Are we fighting Marines? No. No, that's just Army. The Marine, I think it's got the Marine Corps symbol on it. Oh, we got a line of sight event. And this is for the NVA, if the NVA didn't line of sight to that. And uh, nothing else that we can see. All right, let's take a look over. Now, what we as the NVA forces have. Uh, we got a 254 squad, 5 morale. Yeah, not really great. Another 254 squad over here. Another 254 squad here. Lieutenant Finn. Got a 254 squad. Uh, RPD machine gun. And another 254 squad. Uh, Lieutenant Kai. Ooh, flamethrower. Flammenwerfen. That's always a good thing. RPG 7. RPG-7 and a 12.7 millimeter, the Soviet equivalent of the uh, 50 caliber. Uh, Lieutenant Von Du with a 144 Hero, 254 squad, another RPG. And then a Hero and a squad and another RPD. Okay. Uh, I can't really change setup on this. Uh, I mean, you can, I think I tried. It won't let me. Oh, I guess I can. I've just been, I've just been an idiot every time I do that. Well, let's just go ahead and leave it with the default. <laughs> All right, so setup's done. Initiative, first turn, NBA. Operations phase. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You can't see what's over written over here because my big fat head is in the way. Um, if anybody's chatting. Oh, the music is too loud. Okay, well, let me go ahead. And yes, yeah, so I've got the music. Turn the music down even more. All right. Um, no, now our, 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 our everybody's friend, Dan Pilincaldi, uh from No Enemies Here, uh, has done the soundtrack for uh, the Lock and Load Tactical Series. Now, I don't know if the soundtrack has been implemented yet, so I don't know if what we're hearing or what you're hearing are getting your ears blown out too loud right now is actually Dan's work that he's done. I don't, I don't know if Tom has uh, inserted the soundtracks yet, but... It's a very good possibility that this is the music that Dan Pencaldi has written for the game. And he's kind of done uh, uh, different uh, soundtracks for the different eras. So in the Vietnam era, you got more of the Vietnam. During the uh, World War II, you got more uh, big band ballroom type stuff. During uh, the uh, modern, you're going to have more 80s rock and roll type. Uh, check this in here. Hey, Keatson! Welcome, buddy. Uh... Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yep. Oh, and as, uh, let's see, what was that? Christopher was saying something about, yeah, you notice you could toggle the maps off and switch to large admin counters. Um, yeah, you can do that. Let's go back to, I think I have those on. 
Let's see. Loot use X maps. I like the larger hexes. You can go with messy counter placement. I no, nah, I'm too OCD to do that. Large admin counters. So yeah, that's that's what I've got it set for right now. So let's see. Oh yeah, so it's my turn. What am I gonna do? Okay, so we know. Oh look at that. Why are these eyes all kind of shaded out? Well, they're still hidden. I haven't spotted them yet. So the game even tells you when your opponents are hidden. And, you know, I hate to say it. We, we, I, I kind of... I could either try to spot them on my own, but, you know, if you fail the spotting check, then, uh, then yeah, you, your ops ended. So usually it's best to just send a little sacrificial lamb out there. So, yeah, this little uh, 254 squad. Sorry, buddy. We're going to push you forward. And we're going to try to draw some op fire. So let's try to get to this brush here. Which brush do we want to go to? Let's go to this one right here. He moved. Oh, he didn't get shot at. Oh, you bastard. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and end impulse. Oh, he passed. No big surprise. Um... Okay, well, let's try this guy. Let's go ahead and click this guy. The one thing I like is it tells you how many movement points you're expending when you're... Because I'm, I'm not a clever man. Ask anybody who plays me. I, 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 I can't seem to do the math in my head. So this telling me how far my guys can move is actually really, really huge. All right, fine. This guy's going to run up there. There we go. Now, the cool thing is, direct fire, we saw the rolls, and then down here in the lower right hand, we actually see what the results are. And, oh, look at that, he's shaking, and that, that, that's not good. But, if you notice, these guys are no longer shaded, so I can now see them. They're spotted. Of course, they got marked with fire, so of course that means they're spotted. However, even though this guy can't do anything because he is shaken, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to go ahead and hit the end impulse turn. Hang on. <laughs> Keith, I beg to differ about clever. No, I'm not clever. I, I, I keep telling people this. All right, so let's just keep pushing some troops forward. Let's, uh, let's get in there. And we'll go ahead and be done. Of course, not that I think the U.S. has anything. Yeah, they've got a few guys that are on. But uh, they, they, don't, they don't look like they're doing much of anything. Keith, in the open, what do you expect? Oh, wait. Yeah, it's me, Keith. It, 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 you, 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 it, this is Devin. All right, my Flamenwerfen. Let's go ahead and move my Flamenwerfen up. Oh, we can get. Oh, we can't get there. I can get there and really light him up next turn if I win initiative. Of course, if I don't win initiative, then my guys are, my guys are kind of foobar. Do we want to move him here and keep him getting a little bit of defense? Or maybe here? Oh, you know what? Let's not even move a flank with a guy. Ah, let's go ahead and take this squad. So you got multiple... Oh, that's the RPG. Where's, okay, so there's the, there's the 12.7. So we got a stack of guys here. And say I want to only move a couple of them. You just click on ones and decide which ones you want to select. So you got selected units right here, and it's telling you movement four. Oh, God, I am so horrible at trying to describe things like this. All right, so let's go ahead. Yeah, let's go ahead and move them up there. He's there in the impulse. Uh, yes, every time I'm looking down, I'm kind of checking to see the chat if anything's going on. Okay, so yeah, basically, he's electing not to do anything, so he keeps passing. And of course, I could hit pass number two, but if I do that, then he'll just do pass number three and the turn will be over. And I'm not done with everything yet. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Take a look at this pretty little, pretty little 12.7. Like I said, Soviet version of the 50 cal. Let's light these guys up. Now you can kind of see, as I point to the screen, and you can't see where I'm pointing to, in that box, which should be bigger, and I don't know why it's not. I'm sure I, I hit a button or something. It's got a 69% chance. So that means there's a 69% chance that that weapon firing at that hex is going to do something. Well, let's light them up. Ooh, a total 10 to their four. Ooh, good roll. Plus six DC is uh, Stefan. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what happens when a 50 caliber lights up a hex. So let's take a look at what. So we look down here. 
And we also kind of see a rehash of the rolls. Attacker dice roll six plus four, defender roll two plus two, Lieutenant Nightingale DC roll six plus six, because that's kind of what the difference was, versus mor morale seven results in shaken. Squad two plus six versus morale four results in shaken. Four plus, yeah, you can you can see all your dice rolls down here. And uh, so we actually, I actually got some pretty good dice rolls, or the, the U.S. failed to get good dice rolls. So we got some casualties. So let's go ahead and zoom in and let's take a look at, the, oh, look at that. They're guys, they're not full squad anymore. As you can see, they've all been reduced to half squads. Of course, you know, still got an M60 and a Claymore and, and uh, all that good stuff. All right. And so we're going to end the impulse. Again, he's not going to do anything, so it's pretty much giving me free reign. All right, what do I got over here? I got an RPG, an RP. Ooh, you know what? This now we're going to move the flamethrower up. Can we get there? I oh, will get right there. He can't op fire at me. So we'll get those guys in position, and hopefully if I win initiative next turn, I'll be able to light those suckers up with a flamethrower. And we'll just hit him to impulse. Oh, he is actually moving. I can hear his little footies. Oh, he's got guys over here. So he's moving up alongside. Okay, now I got an op fire chance. See, this is how big that little square is supposed to be. I don't know why it's not. Again, like I said, I probably probably hit some button I wasn't supposed to. Uh, da, 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 da. So I got a 70% chance of doing something to him. And I think I've got an RPG there. I think so. So we can either escape or hit the red X to ignore the op fire, or we can do the op fire. That's kind of a long range shot. Good dice roll for me, six to his one. A lot of <coughs> the computer's gonna gonna do something very bad, and I don't normally get these good dice rolls. So what did we end up do? Shaking both of them and casualty reduced. Yes. What do you know? Uh, so those guys fired. The hero couldn't because it was out of range for the hero. So I think I think we want to keep the hero with them. So basically we've got these guys with the RPG. Let's go ahead and run them out in the open because why not? That's a great thing. Oh, Keith was asking, can we see your LOS? Yes! Let's take a look at the LOS tool. Let's go ahead and hit impulse real quick. Down right here, you've got these two little buttons. This one's a great one. This is the terrain info. You click it on, and whatever hex you're cursoring over, it shows the hex number, what it is, what modifiers, the movement. I mean, if you're not sure about the rules, this is a great way to learn it because it kind of prints everything right on the screen. So you got open target modifiers for uh, tracked, off road, uh, road, and leg units over what over any hex. Clear hex. So that's the terrain tool. I like having that on. And then the really cool tool is the line of sight tool, where whatever hex you're clicked on, you can start doing. Uh, you can start. I should probably turn that off just because it is annoying. So I'll turn on a sec. And how do I do that? I just turn this word off. Overlays all over the place. Yes, it looks like that worked. Uh, but anyway, so you got this really cool line of sight tool. Um, and any hex that you're on, and whatever hex you want to go to, it tells you where your degrading is, where your blocking is, if you've got the open line of sight. So like right here, if I wanted to shoot there, we've got this br or these this light woods that is cutting through which is degrading then it's got this brush that is cutting through which is degrading and it also tells you in the final hex it's going to be a degrading two hex so it's going to be minus two to the dice roll so that is a really cool tool like i said you can click on any hex and then do it and just check your line of sight even if you can't see the hex and just go ahead and click on a hex and check line of sight everywhere. Really, really cool tool. Uh, so anyways, uh, da, 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 da. I gotta go ahead and turn the line of sight tool off because I still got a couple guys. Oh, I forgot we got, uh, <sighs> who is that? Lieutenant uh, Tien. I hope my Vietnamese is not too badly butchered. Let's go. Yeah stack there in the impulse I do 
doing anything. They're still not doing anything. Like I said, computer's not that smart. If I was playing against a human player, I'm sure he'd be rushing all that infantry up there. Uh, let's go ahead and take this guy. Uh, let's get him in the white woods. That's good. That's impulse. I think pretty much everything but my sniper. Now, if I wanted to put out my sniper, I, mean, I could put my sniper out a bunch of different places. But I'm not sure. I don't want to put him there because he'll just get walked over by that <laughs> infantry next turn. So yeah, we're not uh, we're not we're not going to put out the sniper yet. So he passed. We're going to pass. He's probably going to pass. Oh, no. He's taking it. God, the, the AI is a little bit smart. It waited until I was done with everything. Now it's moving its reinforcements up. Of course, not that I have anything. I mean, I've got this hero left. But, no, let's go ahead and pass. And let's see what he does. Okay, so passing. Next turn. Initiative. NBA. Yay. So, what do we want to do? Um, oh, of course, those guys aren't. Of course, we're in rally phase right now. I don't have anybody to rally, so I'll just hit continue. He does. So, he's going to roll rallying for his guys. And you can see his, his dice rolls right here. And you're going to see the effects of it down here in the right lower right-hand corner. With all the modifiers automatically done in. And then he's got these guys. Oh, the Lieutenant Jensen didn't recover. That's not good. Um, But, yeah, we're... Uh, we're gonna we're, we're gonna line them up with the flamethrower. Now technically I'm using the flamethrower, but there doesn't have a flamethrower sound in it yet. Should be a flamethrower sound of any kind. Yeah, so since I lit up the hex with the flamethrower, I think that pushes the infantry back. The ones that aren't dead, because I did manage to wipe out that stack with the flamethrower. So it looked like Lieutenant Nightingale was the only one that survived. And since he got hit with the flamethrower, he had to retreat. So I went ahead and did that. So we'll go ahead and end the impulse there. Do I want to op fire? 95.2% chance with my 12.7. Uh, no, we're not going to do that. And if you've got multiple units that could possibly op fire on something, it does highlight that. So you can see where exactly you can do some op fire from and what the different percentage chances are. Like these guys right here, I'd have a 77.4% chance of doing something. Now, do I really want to light him up? I mean, it's it's a shaking unit and they're running away. Um, I probably should. Do I need to? Now, let's go ahead and use the torque. Uh, 10 at, yeah, okay, we like that. That's a good dice roll. Yeah, the, the dice are going to turn around and, and, and bite me in the butt here. Um, and as you, as, you, as you can see, we're starting to rack up the kill points here. Uh, or actually, you can't see because my fat head's in the way. Um, U.S. Army currently has six points, primarily because they control both the hospital hexes at three points each. And I've scored nine casualty points so far, which is huge. Uh, so, yeah, the computer's going to do something bad to me here real soon. Mm, so that was his move, so now it's back to my phase. He's got some guys right here with an M60. Oh, I got, I got an RPG there. I got a shaking guy there. You know what? Let's go ahead and move him in with the leader. Okay, in the impulse. And the great thing about this is it's going to come with, this game is going to come with multiplayer. So if you like playing lock and load tactical and you don't have any friends around like me, that can play it with you, even though I've got pretty much every title Lock and Load has. Never played it face-to-face -face with anybody. Uh, Vassal doesn't count. I don't count Vassal. I'm going to be able to play this game with people. I don't have to worry about the rules. I can just point and click all over the place. Um, so he moved. Do I want to pop my sniper yet? No. I don't think I want to pop my sniper yet. Let's go ahead and just keep pushing some individual troopers up. Yes, in the open. Oh, yeah, he did have line of sight. Ooh, that's a good dice roll for him. Nine to my five. I'm shaking. Now I can live with that. Can I still move? No, I can't still move because I was shaking. That's a dumb question to ask. I think. So it's going to end my impulse. He's not doing anything, so... Yeah. 
The sacrificial lambs we push out there to try to draw the op fire before we move our big guys. Plus, I like to try to, you know, if, if they're if they're uh, not in a hex that's not spotted, then I also try to like to push out the sacrificial. It's called reconnaissance. And when I was in the service, you know, reconnaissance was the art of going out and getting shot so your buddies know where the bad guys are at. That's all what reconnaissance is. Okay, he's fired. Okay, let's get these guys with the RPG up into this little building. There we go. So if I get initiative, I can light him. Or he can light me up, but, you know, I'm in the building, so that should prove helpful. Push them up in the open. Yes, I know. I'm not supposed to leave troops out in the open. Into cover at least. Nothing, nothing yet. Take these guys on the hill and let's just kind of meanderingly push them forward. And impulse. So they might do something. Actually, it doesn't have anybody you can do anything with. Ooh, should I put out my sniper? Yeah, let's put out my sniper. Put out my sniper right here. I don't want to shoot at him. I want to shoot at him. There we go. Ooh, 12 to a 6. Yes. <laughs> Casualties reduced to half squad. Nice. I honestly have never gotten these good of dice rolls when I'm playing this game. The game must know is like, ooh, he's streaming right now. We need to, we need to, we need to show off and, and, and make Devin, make everybody think Devin knows what he's doing by giving him good dice rolls. Ah, ooh. Wow, I retained initiative. I just, you can go around and click individually on who you want to rally. I just hit auto rally. It does the best thing. It, you know, it takes the most, it checks for leaders first, then checks for squads and all that other stuff. And so did he make it? Ah, he did make it. Amazing, seeing how these guys' morale is a five. And I guess I'm since I'm in the woods that game anyway. No, that didn't even help any. Yeah, Lieutenant Tien doesn't even have any leadership modifier. And, yeah, Vietnamese uh, troops, if they break, they're probably not going to come back, even with a leader. All right, so that's done. He's got his uh, rallying to do. Yeah, that bing is awful friggin' loud. Yeah, yeah, Christopher, yeah, my sniper never hits anything. Yeah, I, yeah, mine usually get eaten by melee. Ooh, so we got these guys right here, so let's light up these guys. Yep, fired with the RPG. Oh, I hit with the RPG. Right. And I got the regular squad fire. And the one thing I will say is I do like the sound effects that they put into this game. Um, it's so much better. I, anybody who's played computer games for, for a long time, you'll start to recognize that most computer games use pretty much the same soundtrack. And it's the same soundtrack that Tiller used way back in the campaign series, back when he was working Talonsoft in the 90s. I mean, I have heard the exact same machine guns, tank treads, and tanks firing for 30 years. So nice and refreshing to get new sound effects in this. So, uh, let's see. Oh, yes, we lit these guys up. What do we do? Scroll in. Shaking and shaking. We like that. I mean, if I could, I wish I could, I really wish I could play the game so zoomed in. I like being zoomed in, but, you know, I kind of got to keep an eye, so I got to pull back. But the game just looks so much better zoomed in. And I mean, I'm, now I'm transmitting at 1920, and so you should be seeing almost exactly perfectly clear what I'm seeing, but there, I know there is a little bit of degradation. So, anyways, uh, that was that fire, so, and the impulse. Oh, his air support. Ah, there it is. There it is. Oh, choppers. Choppers. Where's Flight of the Valkyries? The choppers are going to do bad things. Uh, welcome, X282008. Yep, can't wait for the game to come out. Well, I've already got it, so I guess I can't say I can't wait for the game to come out because, you know. But two days, April 2nd. It's either at midnight or at 10 p.m. PST, because that's usually when it usually comes out for me. Um, but I will be able to play with other people. And get on the Discord, people. 
because I know that's a great way to find people to play Lock and Load Tactical Digital. We've got voice chat rooms. We got like five different voice chat rooms. So get into the get into the Lock and Load Tactical Di uh, Digital oh, yeah, Discord. Um, let's see what do we want to do. Uh, where's where's my twelve point seven? Let's take the twelve point seven. Oh, come on, click. Let's light up that helo. have line of sight well let's check with our line of sight tool Take this squad and we'll just go ahead and melee. Ah! Yeah, I know. Something about war crimes about meleeing, you know, shaking guys that can't fight back. I'm a bad man, I know. Oh god, there's another There's another helicopter. Two helicopters doing bad things to me. Yeah. Not too bad, I guess. See, the dice rolls are on my side. I, I really don't know what's going on. Let's see. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and take care of the sniper. Let's see if we can finish off this guy up here. Eight. That's a good dice roll. To his three. DC of five. Yeah, that was gonna that was gonna go poorly, no matter how you looked at it. Ooh, oh, 83.3% chance. Let's see, what do we got here? 35% chance. And a 61% chance. I'd love to use that 12.7 to light that chopper up, but it's not letting me for some reason. So, yeah, we'll just go with, we'll go with it. We'll go ahead and light those guys up. I see if I was playing a real player, they'd probably be playing much smarter than me. And I, I hate hearing that music. Oh, God. What is that music, you ask? That music... That's not good. That's the hero generation music. Yeah, so yeah, it, it has. I end up generating more heroes playing against the computer than I have ever done in Vassal. So I don't know what it is. So yeah, I generated a hero when I when those guys took a morale test and he continued. Now the only thing is you can't really see what the what his skill Oh, there it is down there at the bottom. Thumper! Ooh, so he's got an M79. Yeah, he's got an M79 with him, which is not good. Um, let's take these guys. You know what? We don't want them in the open, so let's see if we can do an assault move. Let's do an assault move. And there are two points in there. And then fire at him. Of course, I didn't think the RPG had hit, but... Oh, the RPG did hit. <laughs> out a lot better than I expected it to. Did I kill him? Oh, I killed him, poor hero. Okay. Give him the silver star or something. And the impulse. 45.5% uh, chance? No, let's not do that. He moved. Uh, so let's just keep moving forward. <laughs> In the open. Now we're going to play. Oh, you're kidding me, man. See, this is what... I love having the map zoomed in, but I can't see <laughs> the entire map, so I sometimes miss that he's still got guys that can do stuff, and that ends up doing bad things to me. So, is it going to be coming out for Apple? Yes, it is going to be coming out for Apple. The only game, we're releasing three games in the next couple weeks, Lock and Load Tactical Digital, Nations at War, and Victory and Glory, American Civil War. The only one that is not going to be out for Apple is American and Glory uh, Civil War. This will be out for Apple. Lock and Load Tactical Digital will be out for Apple. And I'm pretty, fairly sure Nations of War will be as well. So, but yes, this will be for Apple. Uh, let's see, what do we want? Oh, we got an end impulse. Got a few guys left. Oh, like an idiot, right? I run right up under the gun to the uh, chopper. And of course, they're going to do bad things to me because I saw the ops complete. And 
helicopter under there with lots of bad things. Lots of bad things. Hey! That doesn't happen very often. I got a hero generated. What hero did I generate? Oh, he's got stealthy. Eh. Eh, okay. Um. Oh, and I can keep moving, so let's get to there. Now, is he done with everything? I believe he's pretty much done with everything. Okay. Breaking my own cardinal rules about not moving the big stuff until I make sure. Uh oh! Oh yeah! Well, we got the got the line of sight. The line of sight event that was here. First, my, first one of my guys came into line of sight of it. We had a little, little event. Brother! There are bullet holes all over the hospital from the morning's fighting. Private Nin lets out a cry such as you'd never hope to hear again. His brother, shot at Plime, was, was recuperating inside. A moment later, he starts forward, heedless of orders, howling at the top of his lungs. And it makes a little hero marker to represent that we just spawned him as the line of sight event. Let's see, let me see what skill he's got. Ah, I can't see what skill he's got. But, you know, let's just do it in grand Hollywood fashion and run him straight at the hospital where his wounded brother was in convalescence. There we go, that's, that's, that's great Hollywood tactics. Uh, and impulse. Yeah, because he can't do anything more. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and grab this guy. But let's let's not grab the lieutenant. Let's grab the three squad. Oops. Make sure we get it right. Not him. 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 Down. Grab the three squads. And push them forward. Oh, I keep forgetting those things about a rate of fire, too. Even if they do shoot at me, they're going to shoot at me again. But fortunately, they didn't hit anything. Thankfully. Again, the computer's being very generous to me. Because it must know that I'm streaming. So, and let's go ahead. And see. Actually, I should have moved the squad into there where it was safer. Oh, well. Let's see. I think that's everything. That's the 12.7. Yeah, that's everything. Go ahead and end the turn. Uh, oh, initiative again? So we got six points to 13. We're on turn four of seven. Yeah, if I keep look, looking, looking down to my phone so I can see the chat as it scrolls by. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at this helicopter. So yeah, it's got rockets. It's got machine guns. It's, it's nasty. And there's one right there. But you know what I do have? I got a 12.7. Oh, let's do with the auto rally. And the auto rally we have is Lieutenant Tien. And wasn't able to rally. Of course not. Rolled a what did I roll? Rolled a nine. Failure. That's more my typical dice rolls. Uh, he's got his morale to take for Lieutenant Anders. <coughs> Lieutenant did not rally. That's good for me. Now let's go ahead and can we? Can it let me? Oh yeah, now it will. Why is it not letting me? I'm sure I'm doing something wrong. I can look in the rules. If, look in the rules if I wanted to, but I'm not going to slow the game down. Uh, da, 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 but I do have guys with RPGs. <laughs> do have guys with RPGs. I <laughs> fired the RPG. But I got nine to his two. Ooh, damaged it. Oh, and he decides to stay and fight. That's annoying. Sometimes when you damage a helicopter, they'll immediately run away and flee. Hi, Chris. You're welcome for Nations of War. Yeah, oh, one thing, Chris, you may be also interested in, and everybody else will be interested in this as well. Um, the guys who are doing Nations at War, and that's going to be released along the same lines 
as uh, Lock and Load Tactical Digital, it's going to have different modules. You're going to have the base game that you can buy, and then the DLC is you know, $9.99, and you get the scenarios for Stalin's Triumph, White Star Rising, Desert Eaton, Compendium scenarios, and anything else to it. But the guys who are doing Nation of War, have, uh, I think, now don't quote me on this, um, but, and it's no secret, I can tell you this, because Dave's mentioned it before, they are going to be working on World of War 85. That's the latest rumor on that one. So... Maybe in a year, year and a half, we'll see World of War 85 digital. I sure as hell hope so, because I really like World of War. I've got two games that I'm supposed to be doing with people here soon, and we just haven't been able to uh, to connect our times. Um, what do I want to do? So that wounded them. I've got a sniper that I can do something. What do I got here? I got an RPG. Those guys, oh, let's see, he's moved. Those guys are shaken, but I don't know they're there. Those guys are there. Okay, let's do the sacrificial lamb thing. Oh, he's going to get lit up by the helicopter. Uh, <laughs> can I use a flame inversion against a helicopter? No, I don't think so. Although that would be epically cool. <laughs> I know, I squeed when I heard that too, Chris. So... Um, well, you know what? Let's just go ahead and move him into the hospital. And as you can see, the little victory hex changed from the U.S. star to the North Vietnamese star. And then let's go ahead and move over here and capture that hex as well. Yay! Now the U.S. Army has zero points. You can't see because my fat head's in the way to the NVA-19. So this scenario is going very well for me. I've never had this scenario go this well for me. Normally those two choppers just smack me and stomp me in the face. Got an op fire, 8 to 5, DC a 3, we like that. Shaking good. Uh, an RPG here. Let's go ahead and... guys running away yeah let's fire at him oh see now the rpg sound fires off didn't you sound off when i was firing at the helo <laughs> really i actually the, RPG again? the, the, the dice are never this kind to me so. <laughs> i'm speaking of david there he is right now log and load publishing looking good i know right Absolutely fantastic. Uh, let's see, those guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and take. Let's go ahead and take the shaken guy. And start moving him back. Now the helicopter fires. Two to five. Ooh, that's horrible dice rolls on their part. Let's continue the second round of fire. More rockets and more machine gun. No, not more machine gun. Ooh, we may be saving the machine gun. Alright, so I can't move any more with them. So let's go ahead and move end impulse. Uh, da, 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 da. I could move Lieutenant Dien up, but I can't. The, I don't know. I should be able to make it. Move him to three. All right, um, I really would love to fly with it, fire the flamethrower at the helicopter. Don't think you can. Let's go ahead and get those up into those huts right there. Uh, let's see, sniper. Oh, take a sniper shot at the chopper. I won't let him fire at the chopper. And that's blocked line of sight. And that's blocked line of sight. So, yeah, my sniper got off a couple shots and didn't do much. Um, let's take this little guy. Yeah, sacrificial lamb. Right, good. And impulse. Take these guys. Oh, let's just hate it a little straight up the middle. See, if I was playing against a normal player, I'd be getting cut to pieces with me leaving my guys out in the open like that. 
and get away with doing it against the computer because sometimes it's a little bit easy to trick the computer into doing all of its fire and exposing itself early. So that's why I like playing against the computer. It makes me feel like I'm a tactical genius. All right, auto rally. Ah, Lieutenant Tien finally got those guys rallied. That's good. Took less turns. Less turns than I thought it was going to. Three to two. Hey, all I need is one better. Damage? Damage? Ooh. Is it going to go zooming away? Ow, balls. Ultra wide monitor. 2560 by 1080. I don't know. I don't know. We can take a look real quick. Uh, let's see. Options. Actually, I don't think this will show it. Yeah. Doesn't have video. Um, that one... I don't even know if David can answer that one, Chris. Uh, maybe? I don't know. I don't think... I, I haven't heard anything, but just because I haven't heard anything doesn't mean it's true one way or another. Let's see. Those guys fired. Okay, let's go ahead and move. Battle him there. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm going to create casualties. Yeah. I think that 12.7 is my MVP. He's done lots and lots of bad things to the U.S. forces. Uh, let's take Lieutenant Dien and move him over here. One thing I learned a long time ago from my ASL days of playing Russians, you never have enough leaders. So I always want to leave one leader in the back so you can have your broken guys fall back to him to rally. So that's what I've, I've, I, I do. I typically do that with most low morale uh, formations anymore in any tactical sense. Like, all right, leave one of the leaders back. Let him, uh, let him take care of rallying everybody. Hey, casualties! Yeah. Impulse. Yeah, I mean, really, just aside from the two choppers and the one squad, and yeah, you're pretty much probably going to be over real soon. Cause Guys in there. Of course, he still has. Oh, he does have artillery, but I don't think he's got any leaders left alive. So, I mean, at this point, I mean, I've captured. Since this is just straight up victory points, I mean, let's just get my guys into cover and then just weather out the last two turns because I don't think he's going to kill 25 points worth of. Uh, he could! possible he could light me up really hardcore NBA rally phase auto rally Lieutenant Dien. hey he succeeded I'm surprised I didn't think he was actually going to succeed at that uh, of course the US has got one shaking guy but he doesn't have a leader uh, well these guys have been Eight to five, that's plus three on the DC. Damaged again! Ow, it made its morale again? That helicopter doesn't want to go anywhere. Light that guy up. Five to seven, no nothing, it's a wash. Actually, I probably don't think I've got the line of sight that I can fire on that. Nope. Actually, I don't think it's because it's the sniper. Yeah, there we go. Nope, that won't let me fire there either. So. Well, let me move there. I misclick a lot. So let's just go ahead and end the impulse because we can't fire anyway because I didn't tell it to do assault fire. Ooh, look at that. Seven to one. That should kill him. Yep. Roll a six, not gonna help you much. So, 
mess with that. Yeah, so I mean, basically all he's got is his choppers left. Because he doesn't have a leader to volley that guy. Yes, on the second, Dennis. We are, everybody's looking forward to it. I'm hoping to get some multiplayer in starting that day. And impulse. I, you know, I don't need to do anything more. Like I said, this is... Oh, you initiative U.S. Army. Rally phase. I don't have anybody to rally. Those are the options. He's got no leader, so he can't call artillery on me. Five to three, that could be bad. Oh, no effect, no effect. Shaken, ah, uh, better than I would. Oh, and of course he's got a multiple firing. Multiple firings on me, lots of rockets. Those are far 19s, or far 17s, carrying on that thing. That machine guys, we're gonna be back. Nope, well, let me be back because I'm an idiot and misclicked. Well, okay, it won't let me fire into the X because I've got guys there. So you know what? Let's move those guys. I'm not a clever man. Uh, 11 to 2. That's a really good dice roll. There we go. Yeah, baby. Oh, of course. Of course. Has to crash right into the hex with my... With my uh, oh, and... I, 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 I've never had that happen before. That helicopter has killed more of my troops by crashing and landing on them than I've lost the entire match. That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> but I will admit, that's one of the reasons why I love tactical games so much. Tactical game games give you that good kind of narrative. See... I'm going to remember that story for years to come when I shot down a helicopter and it landed and wiped out two of my squads. <sighs> oh, yeah, no, no. It, we, we couldn't do this just single player, Dennis. This had to be multiplayer. So that's one of the things Tom has desperately been slaving over the last few months because um, I know David wanted to get it out uh, by Thanksgiving. But the way the multiplayer was working and the interface with Steam, it was, it was just driving Tom up the wall. Uh, for, for you computer types, this is written in Unity. It uses the Unity engine. So that should give you an idea if you're, if you're a programmer what, what Tom has been dealing with. Yeah, definitely, Keith. Insult to injury. Uh, yeah, well, you know, I don't want to shoot in down any more helicopters because I'll end up killing more troops. Yay! Sky Soldiers, victory, NVA. Yay! I, I won. Oh, well, that's good. Then you just hit OK. And you can review the map. And then you just hit back to me. Do you really wish to exit? Okay. Now, one cool thing I did want to point out here. Um, as you click on the scenarios, you've got the briefing, but you've got this little button called record. Ah, well, look at that. 27 March played as NVA, U.S. Army 1. Played as NVA one, played as NVA one. So it will keep a listing and a record of of the scenarios you've you've played and and who's won with them. So I think that's a really cool thing. So anyways, that is is a look. Yeah, Kamikaze Hilo. Yep. <laughs> Advanced helicopter crash tactics. I got a buddy of mine uh, who's a, a National Guardsman, uh, Hilo crew chief, and uh, he did that during the during. Uh, Desert Shield, or Desert Storm 2, uh, Enduring Freedom or whatever. He was over in Iraq during the second uh, second uh, time we were over there. I was over there during the first. He was over there during the second. And so he'll, he'll get a chuckle out of that because he, he likes all things helicopter related. But anyway, so yeah, that's. I just wanted to give a, a quick look at Lock and Load Tactical Digital. I wanted to do a live stream so people could have a chance to ask questions that they had. Let's see, how long have we been doing this? Let's take a look. Uh, we've been doing it for about an hour. That's probably a good length of time. Um, two days? 30 hours? Something something akin to that? Really close? It's coming. You can taste it, boys and girls. It really is coming soon. So, And I look forward to getting a chance... 
to play y'all again come to our discord throw down the gauntlet make me a challenge uh, offer to light me up because you're, you're you'll probably win i don't win a lot of games so. <laughs> but it'll boost your morale some but that's kind of basically all i got anything else i don't think so we should be having a stream maybe tomorrow uh, that David and I, and we might try to get one or two more people, but we kind of want to go over all the lock and load um, um, digital releases that we got coming up in the next couple weeks uh, just to give everybody kind of final ideas of what's coming, how it's going to work, and just more information. We might do that, we might not. David has been uh, frantically working on trying to get everything all lined up with Steam. You'd think Steam would be a little bit more user-friendly and I guess it is, if you're a AAA title, they, their support for independent titles is a little bit lacking from what I've been able, I've understood. So David has been furiously working into the wee hours of the morning, making sure everything's set uh, for our release on April 2nd. Again, I don't know what time of the day it's going to release, but it is going to be released April 2nd. The only way that would probably change at this point is if Steam decides to, 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 to do bad things to us. Uh, as far as I know, everything's done on our end except for what little, few little last things Dave is working on. It's it's big getting released the second. No delay on our part. Any delay that's going to come is going to come from Steam. So I guess that's all I got for tonight. Questions, comments, concerns, complaints, criticisms in the comment section. I'll see everybody next time. See ya.